Hey, what's up guys? And in today's video, I'll be demonstrating uh, Gladiator's abilities and obviously where to find it, uh, tips to how to get it. Uh, so stick around if you want the full info. If you're just here to see what it does, uh, I'll be demonstrating that right now. So, you know, just some normal bumblebees, whatever. So, boom, 23, 28. Now, I believe it does 1.5 times damage. I don't know if it gives a speed boost, uh, but we'll see. So, just bink, and 43, wow. So, yeah, that's about 1.5. 1.5 times um, uh, and I'll be showing the boss uh, or not the boss I'll be showing um, the location in a second but I did want to sh uh, flex you know me being able to solve this dungeon unless I sell uh, but these are the stats these things I added on so magic boost magic defense jump boost. these are added on so do not it does the armor does not come with that it does add speed I'm pretty sure it comes with speed though but again these three are not added on these are the stats you know 35 35 uh, 10 percent uh, 15, 15, and then 3, and then obviously 25, 25, 4. And these are the total stats. Um, you know, again, these are the, I'm pretty sure these three stats are the only ones that come from the armor. The, obviously this and this uh, both come from the added buffs, same with these. Uh, and then that's the base speed. So again, um, you know, that's just the raw stats um, of the armor, and I'm already selling. But um, yeah, basically, it, it's actually, this class is super solid. Like, I mean, it's actually so good. Especially if you're going, up, um, you know, something like the Beyblade build, and oh god, oh no, I gotta, yeah. <laughs> what is Roblox's physics? Anyway, okay, it's gonna it's gonna take me a while to beat this boss. Possibly, we'll see. Yeah, for some reason I kept bouncing off the wall. That's some weird stuff. Or bouncing off the ladder. But yeah, this class super busted. Um, I'm just gonna demonstrate how busted this shit can be. Um, honestly, you're better off saving the Beyblade for after he does that, but. I mean, again, the thing about this class is you also get a speed boost, which is super unbalanced. Um, so you can just like kite around like this super, super easily. And there's like really no, it's just like, it doesn't give you any debuffs. It's seriously good. Um, so yeah, you should just abuse that. Especially because you, uh, if you have an AOE move, it just really, that, that, that 1.5 time buff really does add up, you know? So... Bosses like this are not that hard if he doesn't spam something, so thankfully he's not doing that. Um, but yeah, again, honestly, anyway, honestly this class is super fun to use. The buff isn't really that, you know, what's it called? I don't know the word for it. Um, it's not really flashy or anything, but it's definitely fun to use. And I think that once I get the Berserk Rune... Uh, it definitely will be quite amazing to use this class because I'll be able to stack it, maybe get three times damage it. Uh, but now I will be showing the gladiator location. So again, I'll probably add a timestamp, a timestamp in the uh, comment section, uh, since pro some people probably didn't care for me defeating the V dungeon. Honestly, that was just some entertainment. Show you guys the prowess of this class. You know, even though I'm sold, to be honest, uh, it's because I kept forgetting to use the ability. Uh, but yeah, I will cut to that right now. Alright, now that I've healed up and everything and I'm back at the main city, I will be showing uh, you guys where the gladiator is at. And again, uh, there's really not much uh, to finding this guy. He's super easy to find. Um, I remember just seeing a screenshot of him and it is obviously him in the desert. So I literally just looked around for five seconds and found him. It was like not a challenge to find him at all. As long as you just know he's in the desert. But I'll show you guys anyway if you're feeling lazy and don't want to explore. Um, yeah, uh, the thing about this trainer is that you need negative 50 rep. So I'll be giving you guys a tip on how to get said negative 50 rep if you have stuck around for the last three minutes. Um, and that is simply using an alt. Um, and obviously some of you guys are on Mac. So some of the, the, the tactic I'm going to say won't work or, uh, you know, some of you guys have potatoes for PCs and, you know, you're only playing Roblox because that's all you can run. I mean, hey, I, I kind of feel bad for y'all, but <laughs> the only way, the only solution you'd probably have then is, um, you know, getting a friend to help you out. Uh, if you don't have any friends to help you out with this, uh, you feel me, just slide them five dollars and they'll do what you say. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, personally, I did it with, um, and I'll, yeah, um, while I get there, I'll explain. So basically, the whole thing about this guy is negative 50 rep, and then he gives you a quest to kill five people after you get negative 50 rep, I believe. Um, and don't get me wrong, I never talked to him before negative 50 rep, so I don't know if the, that's the exact amount, but that's the rumored amount. And so, um, yeah, you just talk to him, he gives you a quest, um, and it's really just that simple. Uh, or first you gotta actually have negative 50 rep, I don't know what he says. 
of the when you don't but yeah that's all there is to it and yeah so now if you're wondering how do i run two roboxes at once uh, i will explain so the funny thing about this game is that alts do not have a pvp requirement now that may change over time so let's say hypothetically they decide to change it after this video do not go in the comments typing you lied i can't what blah 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 this well if that's the case you know if there's like a level 20 requirement you better start grading, grinding to level 20 then you know because that's what i did i thought there was a level requirement and lazily enough from the dev you know <laughs> he didn't do that so that was pretty stupid i'm not gonna lie um so yeah uh unless he wanted all farming then maybe it wasn't but yeah, you go on Microsoft Store. Uh, so if you're on Windows, uh, Windows 10, I believe. I don't know if it's a thing on Windows 7. Um, you just go to your taskbar in the bottom left. Um, I might I might just show something on my screen to, you know, help you guys out. And just go to Microsoft Store. And after setting, you go into Microsoft Store, you simply just type in Roblox. And so this, is, this involves no shady stuff. You don't need to use, like, multiple Roblox or anything like that. Uh, you just download Roblox, 400 megabytes, not very long. Um, and that's about it. You just download it, log on your alts, and you can run two Robloxes at once. Now, don't get me wrong, Microsoft Roblox is shit, so I don't recommend playing through there, but I definitely do recommend um, using that tech. I did it in Rogue because I got tired of using things like multiple Roblox. Uh, it's just sometimes it doesn't work. It's very glitchy. I don't know. I, I just I didn't really find it, you know, <laughs> that easy to use because uh, there's a lot of things to it. And so yeah, if you if you guys are wondering how to do it, that's simple. It's that simple. Um, and again, if my explanation never made much sense to you, really all you got to do is um, just search up a tutorial. I'm pretty sure there's one out there. You know how to search up, um, how to run multiple Robloxes. Um, so you know, obviously you probably wouldn't really need my explanation if you do that. Um, but that's really all there is to it. Uh, to the Gladiator class, there is no level requirement. I believe I got mine at level 30. Um, and I've seen somebody get it at level 20, so there is no level requirement. Shit, maybe you can just get this stuff at level 10 or level 1 even. I don't know. Just farm an ult. Although it'd be probably annoying killing the ult with no damage, so I'd recommend doing it at, by at least level 10. Um, but yeah, hopefully the dev does add a limit for alts, you know? Um, I feel like it's too easy to get this class. I think that it was not challenging whatsoever. There's no cool quest to it. It was very lame overall but yeah anyway other than that um after you get the negative 50 rep he'll give you a quest to kill five people just kill those five people uh, kill your all five more times he'll tell you to come back and that's it i don't know if you if, if you die during that quest something i don't know <laughs> you might uh you might fail the quest i don't know i really don't know what happens i again i just use my all um if some of you look down on me for this don't get me wrong i killed players <laughs> But I really, really, really felt bad. Um, I remember recording it, and I was like, yo, so do I... Should I keep doing this? Like, people kept asking me, why are you killing us? Why are you doing this? And since the death animation is like one second, I couldn't type it in time. And I just felt so bad. Like, people are just trying to grind, and they lose all their XP. So, personally, although this is the pussy way of getting this guild, uh, I recommend doing this way. Uh, no harm towards players. Um, you know, I feel like this community is pretty non-toxic. If this is Rogue Lineage, I'd probably be seeing otherwise. I feel like, uh, Rogue Lineage should stay toxic because that's how the community is. But this community is pretty cool. Not that much toxicity. So I don't, I don't think there should be, <laughs> you know, level 60s farming level 1s. It's just not fair towards them. Um, you know, it's a stupid system. I don't know why the owner put it this in place, like how it is, um, for this class. There's no cool quest or anything like that. But... Again, that's all for the video, guys. Um, it was very simple. Maybe I over I dragged it out a little bit. If that's the case, I apologize. Uh, but anyway, that's about it for this video. Peace out.